Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to take that two ingredient uh, dough with the self rising flour and the non fat Greek yogurt and make a pizza dough with it. So, what I'm going to do is you do the exact same recipe, but I'm going to double it this time, okay? So, I'm going to use the a cup of flour and a cup of the non fat Greek yogurt, and but this time I'm going to add um, some roasted garlic um, that I did myself. I'm just going to add it so the pizza dough has a little bit of garlic flavor into it. So let me get that going. Okay, so here's my pizza dough. I'm just going to let it sit for a little while. And while that's sitting, I'm just going to clean up and I'll be right back. So I decided to take a rolling pin to this. I put it on the, the board here so I could get it nice and thin. So let's see how this goes. You know, you can do this with um, gluten-free flour. I mean, it's, it's a little bit harder to work with because we have celiacs in this house and um, it does work out. Some things gluten-free I don't care for, like the pasta, ugh, I don't like that. But this one is cracking a little bit, but that's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. You can fix it up later. So here's your dough. And what I do is I will puncture this dough little bit here and then I will bake it I will pre-bake it first in the oven at 400 for about 10 minutes till it gets a little bit of um, maybe 10 or 15 minutes till it gets a little uh, cooked and then I'll bring it back out and then we'll top it hey guys I just took the pizza dough out of the oven I let it cook for about uh, 10 to 12 minutes at 400 on the bottom rack and um, so I've just kind of give it a head start. It's a little crusty on the outside, but what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna just put my toppings on. You can do whatever you want. Um, I'm just gonna show you basic, some uh, sauce and cheese and pepperoni. So what I'm doing here is I just got some sauce. I put some basil in, some oregano, a little salt and pepper. I added some of my uh, garlic that I had left over. I use the rest of it up, go to the edges, okay. This whole pizza is really 11 points, but you cut that in half and it's only five. So and that's pretty good. And you can load it up with vegetables and those are all gonna be zero guys. So this is fat-free mozzarella. You can use um, the reduced fat, you can use whole. You just gotta count it, whatever. If it's worth it, then do it, you know? If it's worth it to you, then then it matters. And then these are turkey pepperoni. And what I did was, five of them are zero smart points. So I chopped them up so they would go a longer way instead of taking, I think 17 pepperonis are two points. So I took five, chopped them up, and then here I got some chopped up zucchini. So I'm going to use all that up. Now I'm going to bake this, I'm going to put this back in the oven, keep it at 400, and I'm going to bake it um, just until I see things crisp up and everything's melted. And when I lift up the dough, there's a little brown underneath, a um, little toasty brown under there, and I will be back when it's done. Okay, pizza's out of the oven. Look how great that looks. Everything's melted, beautiful slice it up again it's not a beautiful shape but as my mother would say who care so let's cut this up and see what it looks like let me run it through the numbers for you the the whole crust is 11 points the mozzarella cheese is a half a cup and that's one point but if you eat half of this it's zero so there's no points in the mozzarella cheese if you eat half of it turkey pepperoni is zero the zucchini is zero, the tomato sauce is zero, so 
You can enjoy this with a big salad. It's gonna be great. And I know who's getting this. The Dawn will eat some of this up. So, look at that. The bottom is done perfectly. And there you go. So enjoy it. Hit the thumbs up, like, subscribe, share. I appreciate it. And I'll be back with some more ideas for you. And have a great, great day. Thanks.